In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove vinyl decals and specifically how to remove vinyl decals from a trailer safely. Now let's get straight into it. What is going on? I'm so glad you are here. Now my name is Luke Wilson and if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community and you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that red subscribe button right below this video. Now check out this trailer behind me that I am removing the vinyl decals from. So I got a call just the other day from a local high school from where I live and they wanted me to remove these vinyl decals from their football trailer because they are getting a new logo. So I'm removing this one, I'm removing this one on the back here, all these letterings and this kind of pound sign and then I've already removed this one and you can probably see where that one was. Then after I remove the vinyl decals I'm going to go ahead and detail the whole trailer, wash it, wax it, do the wheels, the tires, wheel wells, all that kind of stuff. So how am I going to attack these vinyl decals? Well, number one, it's actually pretty simple. It's not very complicated. It doesn't need to be overthought. But I'm going to pretty much be using this one tool for the actual removal process. So this is my Wagner heat gun. And I'll definitely link this up in the description box below because it's one of my favorite tools I have. It's so economical and it goes such a long way. Now let me show you guys exactly how I'm going to attack this in order to safely remove it using this heat and and make sure the paint stays intact. So the dangers you face when you're removing something like this with a heat gun is that this heat gun is so uh, hot, it's like a hair blower on like steroids, and so if you're not careful and you hold this too long to a certain part of the paint, you can actually bubble up the paint and then you have a totally new problem on your hands. So the only purpose of this heat gun is to actually warm up the adhesive on the underside of this vinyl decal so that it becomes kind of easier to kind of like peel off. And of course the goal is to peel this entire decal off in one go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this heat gun on and you can actually hear it as it turns on. It's blowing out extremely hot air and this Wagner heat gun actually has like five different settings of heat that you can kind of turn it up to. But in order to start, all I'm going to do is start with an edge. I'm just going to pick a corner. So I'm going to start with this corner down here and I'm going to kind of use the heat gun to heat up the adhesive and try to catch an edge just like this. All I was trying to do was catch an edge, warm up one of the corners, one of the edges until I could catch it to kind of start peeling off the decal. And now this decal is actually so new that it's probably going to come off fairly easily and it's going to come off all in one piece. But if you're dealing with really old decals that have been there and kind of degraded over time, a lot of times it's much more difficult to peel them off all in one piece. And sometimes they even take part of the underside paint with it. And so those are things you have to be careful of. But this trailer is so new and this decal is so new that it's it's really going to peel off fairly easily and I'm not going to peel off any paint or anything with it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I do this, but just as a precaution, when I'm using this heat gun, you're going to see as I do this that I'm kind of moving it back and forth over the area. I'm never holding it on one part for an extended period of time because I don't want to bubble up the paint and ruin the paint because this is so hot it will melt the paint off the trailer. So I'm just moving it just like this along the decal so that I can warm up the adhesive to peel it off. So I'm going to go ahead and peel the whole thing off, let you guys see exactly what the entire process looks like and speed it up. So you can see that this is actually the first half of the decal because there's like these little creases in the trailer panels where they're kind of when the trailer's manufactured and put together so the decal doesn't wrap over that. It just kind of splits at those edges and so you just pull off one edge at a time. So now I'm going to pull off this rest of the star and the lettering. Alright, so now that the decal is removed, you can see that there's this place that where the sticker where the decal was that obviously is clean because it's not exposed to everything that the other paint is exposed to. So you see this outline that kind of like that the sticker might as well still be there because it's still the full shape of it and everything. So what I'm gonna do is take my super clean and distilled water diluted five to one, and I'm gonna take a bug sponge as well because it has a lot of bite, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of remove this sort of outline by cleaning this dirt until it kind of looks like the same color as this. So now really the whole trailer is pretty clean, like I just degreased it all with the super clean diluted 5 to 1 right here. And so it definitely kind of, you could stop here, it looks finished, but the issue is that right here 
you have like this line that still exists here from where the sticker still was and it takes a little bit more strength to kind of get rid of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my rapid remover which is right here and this is an adhesive remover. It's extremely strong and that's gonna get rid of any of the adhesive that was left behind from that sticker that still creates that sort of contrast right there. All right, so now I've totally prepared the trailer. I not only removed the decal and I got rid of the contrast on the paint where the dirt was and then where the sticker was sitting. So I've removed that with my, my super clean dilution ratio and I've removed that with my adhesive remover rapid remover and now I'm just gonna wax wash and wax the whole trailer because it's already been cleaned it's already kind of been decontaminated so I've put three capfuls of optimum no rinse inside of this three gallon bucket and I've just got one of my kind of maintenance microfiber towels in here and I'm literally just gonna go around the whole thing wash and wax it all the metal pieces all the paint and I'm gonna bring you guys in for the final look so you not only understand how to actually remove the decals from trailers, but also how to kind of follow up, clean it, and finish it completely. And boom, this trailer is done. So let me take you guys around and show you exactly what it looks like finished. So we'll start in the front here. This is all waxed and cleaned and perfected just like this. All the paint has been waxed. And let me bring you guys in real close because you can see that there's no contrast anymore between where the decal was and where it wasn't because now the, all the paint has been totally cleaned and decontaminated completely shined up all the tires and the wheels and the wheel wells all of that here's the back uh, the door that comes down totally waxed cleaned everything and of course this side's in the shade might be more difficult to see tires are shined and once again the decal that was over here that really you saw that stark contrast it's just no longer on the paint whatsoever so that is it that's how you remove decals and specifically how you remove decals from trailers and of course how you clean it and detail the rest of it after you're done so you can really clean up that paint so the decal doesn't even look like it was ever there so anyways thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions comments concerns video ideas or advice make sure to link all that up in the comment section below and of course if you're new here then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos for the professional detailers and car enthusiasts to share with you guys products tools and strategies that I implement and business skills and communication skills that I've learned over the past seven years of my detailing world and on this channel I share the exact strategies that I use to make my auto detailing business a full-time income with only part-time hours so if you're new definitely consider subscribing and lastly if you'd like to purchase any of the products or tools used in this video like the optimum no rinse the super clean the Wagner heat gun especially which I definitely suggest just check out the links in the description box below this video if you use my links it gives this channel just a small commission and it helps me continue to give out valuable content for you guys and this channel will stay alive so thanks so much for watching and being involved and once again from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video